Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back with a uh, little bit of a deep dive into the new Path of Exile League 3.10 uh, coming out on March 13th I think the date is uh, and this is my first look at everything really I've probably read about three sentences uh, and uh, I was like look oh, I'll wait it for stream uh, I'll uh, wait for it to uh, make a video out of this and uh, upload so we are here with Delirium. It's a funny way to uh, spell Leviathan. It is. Uh, uh, for a long time I was thinking it was going to be Leviathan League, but it is not Leviathan League. We have Delirium League. We're just going to jump right in and uh, first of all we're going to start with the... Actually, let's start with the, let's start with the, uh, the trailer. Eh? I haven't seen this yet, so let's go for this. Let me pause this. Up we go. All right, the old grinding gear logo, very nice. What do you find in the darkest reaches of your mind? Come, step into Portals. my world of Portals. twisted illusion. Oh, oh. Okay, already that mechanic's pretty awesome. Okay, so already I'm thinking clear speed bleed. 100% clear speed bleed. We're going full clear speed. Headhunter OP boys. Move quickly through the mist of madness. Heaps of mobs. Heaps and heaps of mobs. New bosses, maybe? Yes, new bosses. Yes! I love my bosses. Whoa! What the fuck? Huh? What? <laughs> Okay, what's happening to the to the to the passive tree? What's happening? Okay. So breach. Just added breach. In. Okay, so they're just showing other league mechanics with the new league mechanic. Yeah. So the, the other league mechanic can be used in this league mechanic. Far. Let's watch the developer commentary as well. Let's go. Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear. How you going, Chris Wilson? I'm going good. Touch the mirror of delirium, and your nightmares will manifest as reality. Whoa. Existing That's enemies so good. Cool. The terrifying ability. It looks really new cool. Foes emerge from the mists. Plunge deeper into the delirium to seek deadlier terrors and even greater rewards. Delirium affects all Path of Exile content to greatly increase its risk and return. Oh man, so cool! Consume oh. orbs of delirium to put entire maps into a state of delirium. Each orb increases the intensity what the and adds fuck? a new reward type. Oh my goodness, MF from is... These maps to reveal delirium's mysterious in-game encounter. Grow your passive skill tree by placing cluster jewels in its outermost what sockets. What the fuck? Craft these jewels to improve their passives. Add one of 280 new notables, or graft additional sockets and exclusive keystone passives. <laughs> Experience Delirium Shit. on Friday the 13th of March. Shit! Whew! Okay. All right. So, Diablo Mix, thank you so much for the follow. All right. So initially, um, that was my first look at anything to do with the league, really. Um, initial reactions, as I probably stated, and you would have heard there, um, clear speed, clear speed, clear speed, clear speed is the way to go. Um, I'm thinking I kind of even want to start with something like frost blades. I love frost blades. That sounds heaps of fun um, Push push hard with frost blades, but we're gonna get into the uh, delirium announcement as well before I start explaining anything more All right, so we've seen the trailer Path of exile delirium a mysterious affliction has infiltrated your mind as you touch the mirror of delirium reality turns to mist 
and your worst nightmares emerge before your eyes. Oh man, this is so cool. Our March expansion contains the Delirium Challenge League, the new cluster jewel system, new skills and support gems, powerful items, and further improvements to the Atlas end game. Holy moly. All right, defeat the nightmare. As the mists of Delirium consume you, new enemies emerge and existing foes gain savage talents. Delirium introduces dozens of lethal monster modifiers, many new bosses, and horrifying demons lurking within rare and unique monsters. Oh man, this is like a kid at Christmas every single time a league comes out, but this one is this one is huge. This is massive. Oopsies. Let's go back in. Um, plunge into the horror. As you travel deeper into the delirium, you'll experience numerous and challenging enemies with greater rewards. Will you let greed and hubris draw you into the madness? All right, so big rewards, new endgame bosses. Nowhere is safe. Encounters you once mastered can now be played under the effects of Delirium, substantially ramping up their difficulty and rewards. If you're daring, you can exploit Delirium to amplify past conflicts. Oh my goodness. Okay, so juices. This is the league for juices. I think this is going to be crazier than Breach. This is going to be crazier than Legion. This because because you can pile this onto the other league mechanics. I have a feeling that GGG is going all out and just going, look, kids, here's your toys. Play with them. Play with them. Go for it. All right. We're keeping going down. Orbs of Delirium. Orbs of Delirium can be applied to endgame maps to control how intense your delirium is. Under the influence of an orb, you are immediately plunged into delirium for the entire duration of that map. A single orb creates a challenging encounter, but up to five can be applied to a map to uh, for ultimate difficulty and rewards. Huh? Layers, okay. Adding currency item reward types. Just, just, oh my goodness. Adding reward types to maps on top of everything else. This is insane. Okay, let's have a look. Delirium reward type currency. So this is an example of a map. So you can put two different Two different reward types? Whoa. Wow. Five, wait, you can put five different? Are you serious? Oh no, oh no. All right, the simulacrum. Search the deepest reaches of your delirium for splinters and combine them to create the simulacrum. Enter its portal and try to survive the ultimate endgame delirium challenge. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. What I see from this is there's going to be a balance that we're going to have to hit with MF and still being able to survive in kind of endgame maps. Because I think your traditional magic find characters, unless you're fully juiced with like Headhunter and everything like that, they're not going to be able to survive the Simulacrum. So that's going to be something really interesting. I think Dodge is going to play a massive part. I'm already thinking Raider. I'm thinking Raider with Onslaught, Frostblades. That's what I'm thinking. Um, or even something like a Pathfinder, um, Pathfinder Frostblades, uh, or even the Deadeye Frostblades with Crazy Chain. Um, that could be crazy good as well. Single target, probably better on Raider, though. All right, now, these things fucked me up in the trailer. Let's, let's have a good look at what these are. Expand your path. Extend your passive skill tree by placing a cluster jewel in one of its outermost sockets. Wow. With craftable mods that improve the passives generated, add one of 280 new notables. Or even graft additional sockets for deeper nesting. Cluster jewels let you grow your own passive tree. 280? What's the passive uh, skill tree right now? One, like 1,300? Um, uh, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's check this. Um, passive skill tree PoE uh, nodes. How many, how many are there? Is this, is this gonna tell me? Is this gonna tell me? Wait, 280 notables, not just connecting no, oh. That's, okay, wow. New, 280 new notables. Guys, this is ridiculous. This is crazy for Endgame. That's just ridiculous. All right, let's, uh, Dropping from any monster in the Delirium League, these new jewels are one of the most significant improvements to build customization since the introduction of the Ascendancy classes. 
Oh. Wow, okay. All right, so... Blessed Rebirth, wow. This is like gonna be... This is gonna be learning something crazy here. All right. All right, cool. End game improvements. Oh man, awesome. Conquerors of the Atlas revitalized Path of Exile's end game experience. In Delirium, we have made Conqueror spawning deterministic. Thank you, GGG. Yes, brilliant. Reintroduced sextant vendor recipes. Created extra incentives to reach higher awakening levels. Amazing. Revamped vile side areas in maps. Again, amazing. So you actually want to go in them, hopefully. Improved the Temple of Atsuadal. Yes. Yes. My favorite league. Well, one of my favorite leagues. And more. Wow. Wow, that's, that's awesome. New skill and support gems. Delirium introduces four new skill gems and three new support gems. In classic Path of Exile style, we've focused on versatile designs that can complement many styles of gameplay. Let's have a look here. Blade Blast. Detonates blades that are now left behind by Ethereal Knives, Blade Vortex, and Blade Fall for a potent combo. Whoa! All right. Poet's Pen. Poet's Pen, um, like Blade Fall, everything like that. Or a double Cold Iron Point physical spell. Oh, shit. Wow, Cold Iron Point, Physical Spell, Cast on Crit. Massively good. Alright, Cold Iron Point is still amazing. Oops, Cold Iron Point is still absolutely amazing. Alright. What's this next one? Kinetic Bolt. Fire a projectile from your wand that bounces back and forth, forking with each bounce. Spell damage further empowers the wand attack. Spell damage empowers the wand attack. Interesting mechanic. Very, very interesting mechanic. I like that. I really like that. And we've got storm binds. Place storm runes on the ground. Oh, we're just we're just a small baron. Place storm runes on the ground that spread out as you channel. You can then channel you uh, you can then channel mana into your runes, upgrading and detonating them. Whoa, that's huge. SPT two five two seven. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm just gonna keep going though because we're doing a nice vid here. That's insane. Okay, powerful new items. Let's have a look. In addition to the currency items, cluster jewels, gems, and endgame simulacrum maps, Path of Exile Delirium introduces many new divination cards and unique items that provide new character build opportunities. Perfidy? Glorious plate. All right, melee damage, max life. Two different banners are already, already champion. Two different banners at the same time. Banners you're carrying gain one stage on melee hit, up to five per second. War banner has 147 increased adrenaline duration, and dread banner has 141% increased fortified duration. Wow, that's huge. Um, Algor Mortis. Energy shield, cold and lightning res. 20% chance to sap enemies in chilling areas. Enemies in your chilling areas take 32% increased lightning damage and increased effect of non-damaging ailments. Wow, okay, good good ailment gloves there. They're pretty cool. Let's have a look here. Adds Disciple of Katava. Every second consume a nearby corpse to recover 5% of life and mana. So that's just an example of a new... Wow, 10% more damage taken if you haven't consumed a corpse recently. Wow, that's crazy. Dual Socket has 20% increased effect per allocated passive skill between it and your class's starting location. Dex and Max Mat. Whoa! Huge! <laughs> That's insane. You just create a massive, massive string of the cluster jewels and then pop that one at the end. You get heaps and heaps of stats. That's really, really crazy. Um, the Tinkerer's Table. Fossils. Nice. And Dying Sun. Two out of two for Dying Sun. Very cool. All right, let's move on. And the supporter packs. They look pretty awesome. Wow, guys. Um, that's pretty insane. That's pretty insane. Um, I'm extremely hyped for this league. Probably more than I have been for, for other leagues um, in quite a while. Um, we're going to be, over, over the next couple of weeks until the, the new league, we're going to be theory crafting on stream while I keep playing my solo self-found hardcore. Um, but before I go, does anyone have any questions? I haven't really been reading chat. Chat, do you have any questions about anything? 
um, that you want me to kind of deliberate on before we uh, before we go for this video. You can tell from the demos, sadly not an instant. You're talking about Blade Blast? Yep, Blade Blast. Uh, potentially, Blade Blast could be... It could still have an active. It could be a support gem, but you could it could have a button active that you press um, on, the, on the skill bar. So kind of like an active slash support gem, potentially. Um, could be potentially what it is. Get no blades. It's probably, yeah, probably just an active, though. You probably don't need to link it to to the other ones. So you could have a two two six links, something like that. Physical detonate dead. <laughs> Initial thoughts on the cluster jewels and the league overall. Yeah, so as as I'm saying, cluster jewels absolutely insane for endgame. Um this is this is crazy, crazy, crazy good for endgame. Um so much customization. The one thing I really like about Path of Exile is that feeling of not knowing uh, things going into a league not knowing the end game not knowing how it's going to work out um, which is crazy crazy um, expanded with these these new jewels um, it's yeah yeah as you're saying there Kozak LL like how with the cluster jewels you're not really ever going to get two of the same builds anymore that's kind of correct if you're fully utilizing cluster jewels in the way that they probably should be used um you are just going to be expanding the tree you're going to be creating unique builds uh the one thing that's going to be crazy is um figuring out what jewels give what that's going to be insane for the first few weeks um uh, and being able to make the most efficient builds. So for the first couple of weeks, people are not going to have the most efficient builds that they can have. Uh, thoughts on Stormbind? I didn't really fully think about Stormbind, but let's have a good look back here. Place Storm Runes on the ground that spread out as you channel. You can then channel mana into your runes. Yep, so initially Hierophant, um, going to be massive for Stormbind. If you're going to be playing Stormbind, you have to be playing Hierophant probably. Um, well, probably not have to be, but it's it's going to be pretty beneficial. You could probably... Yeah, Trickster as well. Trickster or Hierophant um, is going to be awesome. A Trickster, Stormbind, League Starter would be pretty insane. And Hierophant as well would be pretty, pretty insane. Um, wow, yeah. That's, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, this is looking absolutely insane. Um, I'm uh, very, very excited, uh, but I'm going to be finishing the video here unless there's any other questions. Um, so thank you so much for, uh, for watching, uh, and for those tuned in on stream right now, thank you very much for uh, tuning into the stream. Um, but uh, I'm just going to leave, uh, and I'm just going to sit here, um, I think until league start, I'm just going to sit here and, uh, and have a good wait and uh, watch the countdown. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll be here until league start. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time, Badger, out. Closer. Oh, we're getting closer. Now let me just get that a little bigger. There we are. I wonder when it's going to change to five minutes. Probably pretty soon. Ah, yeah, there we are. Nice. Awesome. Getting closer. That's great. Oh, man.
man, this is exciting. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I probably need to eat, but... Nah, that's alright. Let's just keep watching. 